ಸ್ವಹಂ ತತ್ಸವಿತುರ್ಹರಿಣ್ಯಂ ಭರಗೋ ದೇವಸ್ಯ ನೀಮಹಿ ದಿಯೋ ಯೋ ನ ಪ್ರಚೋದಯಾಂಧಂ Sairam everyone, so we continue our videos on Prema Sai, next incarnation of our beloved Swami Shri Satya Sai Baba. And um, so again and again, this video is based on your questions, your comments, uh, sometimes you leave your wonderful comments uh, under my videos sometimes you are writing to me personal messages well and in this video i'm going to just think speculate analyze discuss very strange question for somebody and um, pretty much obvious for somebody else do we need premise at all okay this question sound um, strange actually but um, quite many side devotees they uh, say that okay if lord god is in our heart and if we meditate properly then actually who knows maybe we don't need to worry about um, next and next incarnation it means next and next form physical form of lord god who is going to be born on this wonderful planet earth and uh, many people just point to the philosophical teaching um, given uh, to us by such a side that okay god is not form god is not name and what is actually uh, spirituality is okay it's the self inquiry it's a meditation on oh, okay maybe contemplation personal prayer and finally we have to discover or rediscover uh, divine presence in our heart so and according to that opinion which is just opinion let us mm, uh, feel ourselves quite relaxed and just discuss different opinions maybe it's a uh, you know kind of uh, even ignorance uh, just even to try to find out um, the premise and according to that opinion we just uh, have to meditate and be here now and uh, feel the divine side presence just here now everywhere in all forms including our form so let us discuss this very interesting idea well first of all i want to say that if uh, it's uh, not important for you personally um, to know about to find out uh, well okay uh, information or even like just a personally premise I, if it is not important for you that's just forget about it that's quite personal choice and actually nobody is the force to you to try to um, search and find premise that's all this personal choice uh, i mean to say even in a time of satisfy uh, there are many uh, spiritual seekers and meditation practitioners they also proclaim basically the same well why we need that such a side we don't need him because okay we have to meditate and um, awake a uh, divine consciousness in our heart we don't need that outside god so actually nothing new about this concept and um, just let me repeat if you feel that you don't need premise nah, that's your choice and that's wonderful but anyway uh, somehow um, many people uh, feel just an opposite that uh, that is extremely important to meet and recognize divine incarnation uh, of premasai and uh, you know i remember a wonderful duke by satisai himself he told um, to the people uh, it was uh, okay 
uh, actually public lecture, divine discourse. Uh, so it was not um, private and personal conversation with him, just was um, a public event. Uh, he told that, okay, some people believe in God, some people do not believe in God, some people believe that Lord God may incarnate on planet Earth, uh, Earth, and some people do not believe, some people need it, some people not, blah, blah, blah. But Lord God behaved according, not with the people's opinions and expectations, but the divine plan is a divine plan. So that was a such a size joke, and it was um, really nice. We may suppose, we may discuss, but divine plan is not based on our poor mind uh, and uh, basically ignorance yeah but divine plan is uh, is uh, based on divine wisdom and love and compassion so it means who we are to uh, you know to to deny necessity of the divine incarnations including premise who we are i mean if we as the human being, as the humankind, as the humanity really uh, may benefit and really um, badly need actually this divine incarnation, then okay, it's uh, slightly strange uh, that uh, sometimes somebody uh, too clever to deny this necessity. Yes, that's for sure. Uh, Satya Sai himself he repeatedly told us so many times that God is not form and not name. Uh, divine consciousness, divine reality, actually Psi consciousness is beyond any form and any names. Uh, but at the same time, to experience this absolute reality, you need personal contact with the Supreme Guru, who is Lord God himself. Um, and that was the reason why uh, all the incarnations, uh, divine incarnations, are visiting this planet Earth. And, um, well, according to my vision, that um, it's not that, okay, uh, just for the reason of, um, you know, like, to save people, to protect uh, people. No, just to give a spiritual instruction and a blessings and a grace that's the reason why uh, Divine Master again and again uh, born on this planet. Um, you know, okay, for years um, I'm practicing uh, Kriya Yoga meditation and now I'm, I teach Kriya Yoga meditation in the Bijamanda tradition as well. And of course I strongly believe um, in a personal effort. I don't think that it is possible to achieve any divine experience just because, okay, some kind of Lord God will give it to you. You have to practice meditation. Your personal spiritual effort is um, like must for the uh, spiritual evolution. But at the same time, grace, blessings are also very much essential for the spiritual evolution. And for that, we need divine incarnations. Because, um, okay, uh, that Lord God, that absolute reality, absolute consciousness, which is born in the form of um, Avatar, Sampurna Avatar, is that Supreme Master who can give uh, instruction, uh, philosophical instruction, who can give um, Upadesha, so it means, okay, instructions, teachings, blessings, and of course, through that physical form, uh, we can receive huge, huge grace. And each of you uh, who, uh, okay, met, uh, who was fortunate enough to, to meet a such a sign in person, of course, um, understand what I mean, because through his physical form, Satisai form, and now I'm speaking about that form, um, people could receive huge grace. And basically the same happened already now and will happen even uh, uh, greater in a future, close by future, uh, through the form of premisai, huge grace, which is okay, mm, <clears throat> you know, like uh, the, 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 the very important uh, famous formula like Divine grace plus your 
personal effort means um, spirituality, enlightenment, the divine progress or divine evolution. But anyway, um, only your own um, personal effort, I mean meditation and maybe contemplation or maybe like uh, philosophical you know, learning, uh, not enough. Uh, not enough because we need grace and for that we need divine avatar, divine incarnation, and for that we need Premasai. Of course, uh, now quite many Sai devotees are in a state of confusion because Satisai left his physical body 2011. And now a lot of confusion <clears throat> happened in the minds and the hearts of the people. Well, I, I don't mean in everyone's uh, heart, but um, pretty um, okay, huge number of people are confused because, um, okay, he actually left his physical body when he was just 84 years old and um, many times, um, well, he promised to stay till the age of 96 and of course all that very complicated processes which happen in the Mudanahali ashram uh, came uh, some people believe that um, subtle body of Satyasai works through the Madhusudan and some people are strongly reject Madhusudan as the cheater um, that's also a huge um, source for the confusion and still some group of people believe that Satyasai will come back uh, to the physical world in the same old form as a Satisai and come back in his old form in put party and so the group of the people believe in that. Okay, uh, not easy stuff happen with the Premasai as well because uh, now uh, 2019 actually the end of uh, very end of 2019 and already now we have uh, seven candidates uh, Previously, just a few months back, I told you about five candidates, but now we have uh, two, um, um, two extra candidates. So that's also creating confusion in the people's mind. Basically, such a side was absolutely clear uh, about so-called betweeners, about so-called channeling stuff. And as you know pretty well, he was strictly rejecting this uh, idea that somebody could, could um, play this uh, role as the betweener or um, like um, you know all that channeling kind of um, things and uh, after 2011 after Satisa left his uh, physical body huge number of people uh, started to proclaim that they are channeling uh, such a sigh and they 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 give messages blessings uh, sometimes healing sometimes they even try to uh, establish uh, some foundations etc of course uh, Madhusudan from Mudanahali is the most bright example of this um, okay tendency but um, apart from that you know almost um, every day I meet new and new people who are just uh, speaking the same kind of things, I mean channeling. And of course some some of that um, kind of um, betweeners, they behave uh, gentle and are not trying to attract public attention. But some people, just like Madhusudan, for example, uh, they're trying to, um, you know, to attract attention to collect donations, to establish uh, foundations um, uh, uh, like um, institutions, uh, ashrams, etc. And that's also confusing people. And in my, in just the previous videos, we already discussed, okay, this crucial question, what kind of predictions we have from Satisai himself and how can we recognize Premasai and, uh, well, of course, 
to to recognize premisa you have to meditate better that's only the chance to recognize him and uh, uh, well and all this um, uh, all that confusions and struggle brings um, the idea uh, brings the question itself maybe we don't need um, uh, we don't need premisa at all and maybe we have to avoid all kinds of uh, candidates all kinds of discussions just to feel safe because uh, basically people um, they don't believe in the god in their hearts that's the problem they uh, they they're not sure they're uncertain they are confused and as the reaction uh, as a reaction as the protection uh, basically psychic protection uh, psychological uh, protection they start to proclaim these strange concepts that um, maybe we don't need premise at all but but the the, the the essence of this idea is just a fear fear to be confused even more fear to be wrong um, you know, as I told you, even now we have a kind of seven candidates and we have a prediction that it can be seven or it can be 12. And I easily may suppose that it can be even greater number. And then people in a state of uncertainty, in a state of fear, they... Uh, they they don't know how to choose, and then they say, "Okay, maybe better to avoid this question at all." But please remember, guys, you know that's not my choice. That not your choice. That premise must to come, and actually, he already uh, came. He already born, and that's not my choice. That that's not your choice. Uh, he already born, and he born with a special mission. For whom he came, okay, for for us to help us, to bless us, to convey certain philosophical message and um, also grace, and um, better not to reject uh, this great gift, uh, divine gift. Uh, better not to run away from that grace. Better to be brave. You know, like Arjuna on the Kurukshetra battlefield, and okay, to be brave and um, uh, to go uh, and uh, you know to be open in your mind and heart. And I'm always saying mind and heart because um, uh, the way we express it in English, like open-minded, it's not enough. You have to be open in your heart and embrace and recognize premisai and receive his grace okay god bless you see you next time